Bert Slice. How you doing? <laughs> the walk. Yeah. Grant left. Good, good. Why? I know. It's it's crazy. And we're gonna talk about it on the You're first jam fucking right. Yep. On on the first episode of the Birdie Talk podcast. Bird talk. I mean, just sounds so good. I mean, don't let me get distracted. I'm like a kid with ADD. All right. Well, I mean, hey, there is there there is something that I want to address before we jump into that. Let's hear it. Wait, show it. I can't see it. Put it put it closer to the camera. Oh, the lighting. Closer. Oh my God, those are fucking amazing. I mean, I need to golf right now. I'm golfing tomorrow. You want to golf tomorrow? Uh, I w- I would love to. I've got to cut my wife's brother's hair, but that sounds like a terrible reason to skip golf. All right, all right, yeah. So hey guys, we got gloves, we got hats. I mean, if you like the logo, I mean, send a link. I mean, send a comment. We'll be happy to hook you up. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, we'll get in contact. Uh, it, this was it was so painful to get this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah that's they're, a, they're, that's they're a, good. That's just a uh, that's just a little. Sneak peek, sneak peek of of what we've got coming for the next year with Birdie Talk. So make sure to all follow, right, so- like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. Hit the notification bell because we're gonna have awesome videos coming here left and right. But today, that's not the point. Golf's going everywhere. We don't care. Grant left good, good. What the hell's going on? Hey guys, I mean, let's. Hey, I hate to be the devil's advocate, but I did it all for the money. I did it all to be a live no, golf dude. player. I did it all for the money. You know why? Because I'm tired of fucking working for good good. I'm tired of living in Austin. I want to live near my family in Florida. I want to travel, be part of my family. I want the money. I want the freedom. I don't want to be tied in some com- country or company. I've made money. I got friends that are pros. I'm getting in there. That's that's me. I'm Grant. I'm leaving. Why not? I'm the best player there. Everyone knows it. Let's go. I think I think it's more of a moral thing, man. I so for those yeah, it's for the business. Just just uh just a quick little context. Grant, well, first off, Micah left good good. Apparently nobody cares about that, right? Like just like, okay, Mike Mike left. And then the pretty boy with long hair, yeah, he did the ball far. Got, yeah. got the luscious locks, okay? And oh then he hits so far. And then Grant leaves good good. Out of nowhere, absolutely blindsides everybody, including the people in the group. You know what's funny? And if so, you don't know much about them, I felt like he was co-owner. <laughs> like that's how much involvement Grant has. I yeah, felt like he was co-owner it, of Gideon. Yeah. He he definitely had that that energy, that charisma, um, yeah. with, with the team, or at least with Garrett. Um, that that's, just or really, he was on the camera enough that, that you thought she fucking owned it. Yeah, that yeah. That just really made it feel it, – he's so natural on camera, and he's such a yeah. good golfer that it just made sense. So why would you leave? Um, so uh, there, there's two reasons. One, it's bleeding into my brand, meaning the company wants to buy out part of my name, and in order to sign, they'll give me a bunch of money up front. They're going to do a lot that, like – you know, supports me and pushes me forward, maybe in the networking scene, kind of behind the curtains. Um, but, in re- but, in re- yep. But in return, they take a portion of my profits of my personal brand. So even if I were to decide, you know, a couple years down the road, if, if good, good wasn't a good fit, then they would still earn some back end profit on it. Um, that would be reason number one. Uh, reason number two would probably be associated with my the group atmosphere. Now, I don't think that this is necessarily directly associated with uh, Good Good and Grant leaving, but I do think that there were some heads that didn't, like some, some clashing heads that didn't necessarily blend together. Um, yeah. And I think that was pretty, pretty, revel, uh, pretty relevant or pretty pretty obvious yeah. with yeah. So, Bobby, I mean, like, Bobby's so, so, bullshit so, loyalty comment. Yeah. So to me, obviously, you know, the dynamic of the group isn't working as well. Right. And another one is obviously your brand. So yeah, he's tied into a contract. It's in a big business. It's in a huge YouTube business, right? He's a big face of it. That's running three or four channels. And he might have not been offered the kitchen sink soon enough. 
right? And you're offering it to me. I've already did all the work. I helped make it into I mean, a bigger brand. I've been a popular part of this, and now you guys want to do this you while know, I'm leaving. Why not show me the respect while I was here? And, yeah. and, and uh, I mean, why not? And then not only when I leave, you show me more disrespect by saying I'm not loyal, right? I mean, this is a business, right? We're not family. The only family I have is Garrett. I got into this. Thought it was great. It worked out. I have other opportunities. I'm leaving. You know, you know, one thing that, um, you, one thing that actually just stuck out to me, like came to, and like, so I've been looking into this and like watching. So there's a interview with, uh, the CEO of good, good, Matt Kendrick, uh, with Mr. Short game, highly recommend right, watching it. Yep. Sure. Yep. Highly recommend watching it. Obviously watch Grant's response. I've got a breakdown of the complete audio. That'll be linked at the end of this. It's like a 15-minute video. We listen to all of the things that he talks about, and we break it down sentence by sentence. So make sure you check that out. But yeah. one thing that actually just stuck to me now, you know, I feel like Grant is definitely a very, like, moral person. I feel like he's got a very good grounding, a good, good, good foundation. A good guy. A yeah, good, he's, good he's guy. A, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a, a good, 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 good guy. guy. <laughs> but maybe – just maybe when Micah left, they added somebody who's a little bit better than him. They added Quan. He Quan doesn't like being showed up. Is, is it, is, I mean, that's very egotistically driven. Golf is. When you and I play. You're, I, hey, like, hey, here's my, my driver shadow is bigger than your head. <laughs> like. Yeah, no, I mean, he was saying stuff. Oh, man, he's like, I, I I, had a bad hit, and I still beat you by 15 yards. You know, it's like he would say that he would, like, chirp at him in those videos. All right. Hey, crazy conspiracies. How does Quan get in a car accident, Micah leaves, and then Grant leaves? I, don't, I mean, Quan getting in a car accident, I think, doesn't have anything to do with. I mean, it's just, it's just awk awkwardly random timing that, no, like. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the only the only uh, contribution of Quan to this conversation, like he wasn't even in the exit video, like the response from Good Good, he wasn't even there because uh, if you watch the the CEO video, the interview, he mentions it just wasn't his place to be there because he's not like one of the founding members. He was recently onboarded like a month and a half ago, two months ago, but. You know, I do think that there's a small factor of that. Now, in the video where uh, he was talking, uh, Grant was talking about the reason why he left, he mentioned the word compromise. And with the Matt Kendrick interview, Matt was talking about something that Good Good has been working on since the beginning of Good Good. It's actually been a project or a goal of good good did you did you hear him say that um no i don't remember that so it's he's it's going to be announced january 3rd it's going to be announced january 3rd and it's apparently this big extravagant thing that good good's been wanting to do um and my speculation i think it's going to be either a nationwide or international tour with the good, good guys. Something that, like, dude perfect. Very, very dude perfect as, you know, traveling state to state, going to big amphitheaters. And, well, like, yeah, that was like a tour. But are they going to make it bigger? Like, would you pay to? I mean, they're, you've already talked about going out to see them play. That they already have tours going on. That can't be I the mean, bigger stuff. It's not like a serious, like, it's just like, hey, we're having a meetup, and I feel like what this if is they a start bit their different. own league, their own like? I think there's amateur too, league. I think I I don't I think there's too many logistics for that. I don't, I don't even think that's okay. in the books. Here, okay. So obviously, if you're tuning in, you know we don't want to we don't want to talk your ears off into this, okay? And there's a bunch of other topics that we want to talk about in future episodes, but the whole concept of this Birdie Talk podcast is to get subjects. And to make it short and concise. So, Kurt, I know you'd mentioned it kind of in the beginning. From all your research, from all the videos, from everything that we've heard since the announcement video, the interview video, and Grant's response. What are your final thoughts 
on Grant leaving? Do you think it's a good decision? Do you think it's a bad decision? Why? And what direction do you think this is going to take YouTube golf? All right. Um, I think Grant's leaving because he can follow his dreams. He can become a better golfer. He can become a golf pro. He can do bigger things. He can make more money off his own channel. I think to him, there's less restrictions. So okay. with Good Good, he's stuck with five different people. He's stuck with the schedule. He's stuck with the CEO. He leaves this. He's pretty much running his own business, which is partially already established with all his followers on YouTube. And he has his own, his own schedule. I think that ties into a lot of what he talked about on his video, being with his family and his friends. And it opens up more doors, right? Good Good opens up different doors, but him being on his own opens up more doors, right, for what he wants. The good, good doors are great doors that everyone wants, but it's are the doors that he wants. And I think okay. that's why he's leaving. Okay. I think that's a great response. Do you think it's the good move? Do you think it's the right call? Do you think you should left left good good? I mean, <laughs> now better than ever. If Michael left, time to leave. Right? If if you Michael leaves, you leave in six months, it looks weird. Something's up. People are worried. If he leaves, someone can leave, get out of this. It's my time because it's already relevant. And right? you know I what? Mean, I, I, and I'm sorry to cut you off, but to add to that, I think the fact that Micah left, you know, a couple weeks prior and then him leaving unexpectedly makes the buzz even louder. Oh, wait, I mean, but, but, but also like as a good, good owner, it's a winter time. You're not getting as many views. This is great publicity. That is, that is, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean, hey, that is, I mean, like, that's a good point. It's great. That's a great point. <laughs> Great publicity. Yeah. Golf's not going on. It's the winner from it's, most it, of America. It's the talk of the internet that has any remote yeah. like, touching of – if you touch golf on YouTube, this is the talk of the town. Like it's hey, – Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like why not do it? Like I mean, you could even – you probably make more money getting Grant to leave right now than you would keeping him on till March, April. Yeah. yeah. All right, that those are great final thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I think that him leaving was the right call. Um, I think that he put a lot of thought into it. Um, right. He definitely had uh, outside advisors. Like, there, his family's very wealthy. Um, I guarantee his dad has business partners, lawyers that he was I having know, internal conversations with. Offer. Professional yeah, offer, yeah. yeah he, he knows so branding. Um, I, yeah, I think it was the right call. Um, I think Kendrick coming out with that interview was huge, um, and great for the brand because it put a lot of insight and he was completely open. There was very little, he was not willing to talk about, um, which showed him in a very good light. Um, I will say that Bubby has always rubbed me the wrong way and that solidified my opinion about him, but for the other guys, I love Bubby, but, yeah, but for the other guys, they, um, I, you know, they all got kind of emotional on, on that yeah. leaving, on that leaving. So, um, I mean, this is just intense. A every golf channel is talking about it. Um, but we appreciate you yeah. giving us your time. Um, and oh, we love you guys. Another thing that I want to talk about with you in the future is the breezy invitational. Bob does sports just had a very expensive golf scramble like meetup. So that's something we want to talk about uh, here in the next coming episodes when there's more content coming out in regards to that. When I have $3,000, <laughs> we can talk about that. But for yeah. now, appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping by. Like, follow, subscribe. We're going to be bringing you golf content and golf news fairly consistently, as consistent as we can. And, yeah, we'll see you next time.